Today during my live session, one of my viewers, Rarupa, who always comes on live, asked me a wonderful question. He started a new job in technology in India and he's feeling very overwhelmed by his job because it's a technology that he's never really worked with before. And this technology I'm sure is very massive. It's very big. And he feels overwhelmed because he's starting this new job and he doesn't know anything about the technology. And I said to him, it was so funny that he asked me that question because it felt so synchronistic with this video that I was that I'm shooting the same day as that live session is about this feeling of overwhelm when we go into new situations, whether it's a new job, especially in a job situation, you know, sometimes you might have lots of experience being like a systems engineer, for example, but you go into a new job with a new project and you don't know anything about that system. And that system is really big. That technology is really big and you feel overwhelmed that you don't know anything and you feel like maybe you might not be good enough or you might not have the right skills um, and knowledge and experience, even though you do. And so this is the something that many of us go through is that feeling of overwhelm, right? When we go into a new job or a new situation that we're not familiar with. And so there's a beautiful quote by Confucius who says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And I return to this quote over and over again when I feel that sense of overwhelm when I feel that sense of overwhelm. And I do feel that sense when I'm doing my business endeavors, you know, there's so many components to a business, to a startup, to a company. There's lots of lots of components that I don't even know about. And it could feel overwhelming, you know, when you're trying to build something big or when you're trying to uh, figure out something that's big, it feels really overwhelming. So I return back to this quote, over and over again to remind me that I have to only take one step in the now with the energy of possibility. Saripa was feeling overwhelmed and many of us have felt this before is because he went into a new job, a new company with this big technology and he didn't really know anything about this technology, right? Because he's new. And so the journey of your eternal expansion and growth is not about knowing the whole thing. It's about going on a journey of exploration, discovery, and learning bit by bit. It's like if you have a big buffet table of food, you're not going to eat the entire buffet of food right now, right? You're probably going to eat a piece of chicken leg first and then digest that then you'll eat a piece of broccoli and digest that. You're not going to eat the entire buffet table or when a lion kills an elephant, the lion's not going to eat the entire elephant. The lion's going to eat a small part of the elephant right now, step by step, right? Step by step. And so that is part of expansion and growth is to do it in small steps. And as you keep doing it in small steps, in the now, you're looking for the possibility of what's possible in the now, as opposed to what's not possible. You're bringing in the energy of what's possible as opposed to what's not possible, right? So if you have this overwhelming situation, you become present with the now and you find the possible scenario because in any situation that you're in, in any situation you're in, there's always a possibility to do something, to create, to build. There's always a possibility that you could bring to that situation, no matter what that situation is. There's always a possibility. So where we become overwhelmed is when we don't see the possibility and you're looking for just the smallest possibility in the now for Sarupa. It's the possibility of sitting at his desk 
and figuring out one part of that technology right now, the smallest part of that technology is to figure that part out now. It's not about him knowing the entire technology right now because it's about that expansion and growth, step-by-step -step expansion and growth. And so you're always looking for the possibility in the now. And so there's two types of stories that we could be telling ourselves when we feel overwhelmed in a job situation. For example, in Sururupa's case, when he feels overwhelmed, he's telling himself the impossible story, which is something like, I do not have the information I need, so I cannot do my job. This scenario is focusing on the impossibility because he feels maybe that he needs to know everything about the technology. And so he feels overwhelmed and he feels paralyzed. He can't do his job. He can't do his job. But the scenario that will allow you to move forward step by step of expansion and growth, step by step, is seeing possibility in the now. What is possible in this moment, even if it's the smallest thing? So the possible scenario that you could say to yourself is, I do not need to know everything now. What can I make possible now, even if it's small? What can I make possible now, even if it's small? So for someone like Sarupa, and I, Sarupa, I hope you're watching this video, it's really about what is possible now. Because in any situation now, there's some possibility. You want to focus your attention on the possibility. You want to focus your attention in the possibility. I always say where your attention goes, your energy flows. When you focus on possibility, even if it's the smallest possibility, you're focusing on creation. You're focusing on building. When you focus on impossible scenarios, you're creating overwhelming feeling, overwhelming energy. So it's about taking that one step, as Confucius said, in the now and to see the smallest possibility in the now. And for someone like Sarupa, it would be, okay, I'm sitting now at my desk. What part of this technology, even if it's small, that I can learn today? that I can learn today, just that small part of that technology. And then once he learns that the next day, he'll do the same thing. You'll repeat the same process. What can I make possible now today? That is small. Maybe another part of the technology, even if it's small, then the following day, you'll do the same thing. And so imagine if you're taking these small steps, each single day, step by step, Imagine a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step and you're taking these small possibility steps each day. Think about that cumulative effect. Every single puzzle of this technology is going to start to make sense. It's all going to come together and it's being okay with not knowing everything now is a beautiful way to set that energy. Because being okay with not knowing everything right now is the way it's supposed to be. Because if you knew everything right now, you wouldn't be expanding and growing. So be okay with that. So what you want to focus on is the present moment. What is possible now, even if it's the smallest thing when you feel overwhelmed, that's how you tackle this overwhelming feeling. Be present in the now with what is possible in the smallest way. And you will make that possible now. And the next day you will make the next step possible tomorrow. And the following day you will make the following day possible, the smallest thing at that time. So step by step, what is possible, focus on possibilities, not impossibilities, keep focusing on possibilities, taking one step at a time, and you will be able to manage 
your overwhelming feeling better. And so, you know, try this technique, try and make this a practice. Next time you feel overwhelmed, see what possibility you can make happen right now, even if it's small and, and see how it works out for you. You'll see it's a cumulative effect. And if you have a friend or a family that needs this message because they're feeling overwhelmed, please share this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yin and yang living.com. Namaste.